What's good, YouTube? DM came in here, guys. And, guys, a bunch of y'all, I asked a question, all right, about gameplay features that we would like to see in future renditions of the game. Or, guys, really, honestly, even this one. And, and y'all responded greatly on this, man. Amazing stuff uh, that y'all gave me in reference to all of this. And I kind of wanted to take the time to uh, go over all of that today. Uh, really quick because or really quick let's let's really look and see what the people want and guys before I get into that let's give a shout out to the sponsor real quick and I'll get this set up thanks to U4GM sponsorship they are pro and legit web with over 6400 comments on Trustpilot offering cheap college football 25 coin with instant delivery and 100% safe if you're interested check the link in the description and use my coupon code DM for 5% off all right, so guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Don't be a point dexter. Get out the portal. Become a five-star guy. Man, football is rolling for us, guys. First day of two days was today, and school starts Wednesday. I am going to get to be on an official schedule, so uploads will be coming regularly, all right? So one thing, and I'm looking at the comments here on this Um I guess I could have took y'all over to that. Give me a second. We don't want to watch the game, do we? Uh, let's add that. All right. So, mass sedge second string substituting. That's I, you're gonna see this a lot, dude, because that is one of my biggest deals. Is, and I think that's really one of the top deals that needs to be added to this game. Mass substitutions, hands down, super easy. Like, I, I, I honestly don't know why it's not in the game. And I know some people will say, oh, well, if you're up by a lot, they'll sub in the backups. Dude, I have been up 70-something to 20, and they still did not sub in the backups. So I don't know if it's a programming issue. Um, it could be something that's bugged that needs to be fixed. Um but definitely, I will put mass substitutions at the very top of the list because that's something that needs to be in the game. Um, I know some people are like, dang, man, you being up 70. Like, dude, I'm talking, I play on Heisman now. And I'm up 70, you know, depending on who I play. I'm telling you, that variant shoot is something nasty when you got the right cats and you know how to run it. But mass substitutions is definitely up there. You look at the top three comments right there. I was talking about that, the three most current comments anyway. Dynamic weather and gray shirts for Dynasty. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I what I don't even know what a gray shirt is. Maybe fifth year, somebody that gets injured and you bring them back again. I don't know if I've ever heard of that term to be honest with you, but if I'm not mistaken, that's what it means. Let me know in the comment section down below what does gray shirt mean. If I'm not mistaken, it's something that has to do with the medical thing. Dynamic weather. I'll say dynamic weather along with dynamic day and night cycle. Um, and, and in the older NCAA games, you would have that. It, it, the Your start of the game may be in the evening time. The sun's still up. And then after halftime, it's dark outside. Like, I think that that would be super cool. Why they didn't do that? Mm, maybe because <laughs> there's been so much other stuff being put into the game. You know what I'm saying? And we got to understand that. All right. The next one says team builder not being broken. Guys, team builder is still in its beta phase. Give them time, okay? Give them time. They got you got all year to get it fixed, but I understand we want it now. We want it correct. It should already have been right. Blase, blase. I get it, but you got to understand. Even on the website, it even says that it's still in its beta phase. Uh, my field is stuck black. I actually read that when I replied to that. Cross platform and dynasty. Me personally, I play offline. And speaking of playing offline, a lot of people who are having issues with this game or stuff that they don't like about this game are people. What I'm starting to see now is more people that are playing online and they're like, oh, you know, it's like, bro, this is part of the reason why I play offline, because when you play online, you're playing the game is different. You're playing a different meta. You're playing a human opponent. And a lot of these people like I'm going to say every game has something that you can kind of, quote unquote, exploit if that if you will. Uh, doesn't matter the game. There's going to be some kind of meta for it. And people run with that, you know. Uh, I just want to start Road to Glory in high school. Guys, I ain't even going to lie to you. I have not touched Road to Glory since the game first came out. Not because Road to Glory is bad. I enjoy, you know, my little demo, if you will, with it. 
I haven't touched it because I haven't been having a blast in Dynasty mode. I recently, I, I do, accidentally deleted my Texas Tech one. Oh my gosh, yes, I know. But I started a new one, and I started at Akron, and I was the, um, I was the offensive coordinator for two years. And then I got a head coaching job at Florida Atlantic and took them to the bowl game. We didn't make playoffs. And then I got an offensive coordinator job at my favorite school, one of my favorite schools, Texas. And I've been there. This is my second season. We won the national championship last year, bro. I'm loving it. Um, I just want their server, the stability to work, sick of getting disconnected and rolled to the college football playoff. I haven't even played this mode. I honestly have completely forgot about that mode. Once again, not because I don't care, not because it's not fun, but because I am in love with dynasty mode and I have questions and I, I kind of want to reserve that for another video. So yeah, I'm going to trust my gut and put that on the board to come back to road to glory, having an actual off season program where you earn most of your skill points. Also, let me see my coach's skill trees and who they are. I don't know why that matters for Road to Glory. Because it ain't like you can pick your coaches. Also, what my team ends up recruiting and then finally. Okay, so also let me see what my coach's skill trees are. Let me see my coach's skill trees and who they are. Also, what my team ends up recruiting. Just look in the depth chart. You can see who your team recruits. I don't see why that has any bearing on, on, on uh, Road to Glory. Maybe he can go into detail on that. And then finally, because I don't know if it matters, but if my coach is a motivator, that should give me some skill points in off season. I disagree with that. Depends on what tier he is. And maybe that's why he wants to see their skill trees so he can see you know, what he's supposed to be getting and whatnot. I get that now. It makes sense. Uh, keep adding in-game music, generic or licensed. It doesn't matter. And more appearance options for your coach. This would be interesting because now that they've made a little bit more money, well, they've made a lot more money on this game. Um, I mean, maybe stuff like that will be added next year. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Sandman for Virginia Tech and stuff. Who knows? To edit recruits and to edit numbers. Edit numbers, I'm fine with that. Edit recruits, I think people want to edit recruits. And this is my opinion. I could be wrong, not saying I'm right. But I, I feel like people that want to edit recruits are struggling. And they want to be able to like get the player that they want. Uh, let me read the rest of this. New recruits don't have NIL deals, so we should be able to fully customize them. Deion Sanders' shoes aren't even in the Nike category. Cat catalog is what he should have said. I would like to wear those in my dynasty, please. Now, I don't know what he means by edit. Um, if you're talking about editing ratings, I honestly would have to disagree with that. I actually like that you can't edit players' ratings outside of dynasty mode. You could do it outside of dynasty mode if they're not NIL, but I mean, you're going to be playing with that player for four years. The reason why is, guys, long story short, it makes it very, very cool when you actually land that that receiver with 98 speed 99 acceleration or that running back with 95 speed 97 acceleration and a quarterback uh, yeah I'm, I'm hooked on speed i run the veer and shoot you know what i'm saying it makes it special when you actually land that that good player you know what i'm saying a patch to fix the ball under center in his hand about two to four inches off the ground before the snaps i have not even noticed that do you you are paying attention to detail sir Looks awful. Noticed on a replay. Okay, come on. So you didn't even notice it in game. You just noticed it on replay and you want to nitpick. That's kind of crazy. But he wants it fixed. No new. That's not a feature though, by the way. No new features. Just fix Dynasty. Fix Dynasty how? That's what I would like to know. I would also like to know this. Maybe somebody could tell me this in the comment section down below. What? Are y'all wanting to add to Dynasty mode that's not already in it? Like, I've heard some people say that Dynasty mode is hollow. It's bare bones. I understand, like, I know I know that I would like to add a spring game. Um, I would also like to add um, actual, like, training. Kind of like in Madden where you go through uh, your scouting report. Scouting report, uh, training based off of the scouting report and stuff like that. For the game, that would be cool to add. Other than that, I honestly don't know what else you could add. Like, I know some people have said the trophy case and stuff, but that doesn't affect how the game plays. 
I do like it though. I do like it. It was in older games. It was cool to go see all your trophies and stuff. I, I, I yeah. I don't. So I don't know what he mean by fixed dynasty mode. What's wrong with it? Let us know. Create a player and full edit for non-real players. This once again goes back to create a player. Yes, I think that would be cool. Create a prospect and edit. No. And I was a advocate for that before. You know, I wasn't tripping that it wasn't in the game, but I'm actually glad that it's not because, like I said, when you actually land that recruit who has a great development trait and who's a monster, it's so refreshing. It's so fun to get that that person. And and otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to get that. You could just go create it. And what's the fun in that when you can just go create the player that you want? That, to me, would take so much fun out of the game. So I have to disagree with that. Put Boom Tech in College Football 26 and let us edit the recruits' appearance and numbers in Dynasty mode. I don't know why you would edit appearance. To me, this is, and don't take this as disrespect. It's dumb. To me. The reason why I say that is because who cares what the hell they look like? Like, who cares what they look like? If you don't want a white cornerback, don't recruit one. You can see his face before you recruit. And I'm just using that as an example. I don't know what he's referring to as edit appearance. Maybe their clothing and stuff. I get that. That's cool. Yeah. Have your guys decked out how you want to have your guys decked out. Me personally, I kind of take a realistic approach to it. I mean, I don't care what number they wear. I don't care uh, how they're dressed or what they look like or even what their name is. I care if they produce it on the field. But some people do. So we let them have that. You got some replies on this one. For real, got like three players on my team with the same number. Uh, that's not true. Because you can only have two players on the team with the same number, one on each side of the ball. So I'm wondering if that that if it's three, it's probably a, a glitch. And even others on the field at the same time, which is against the rules on kickoff, on kickoffs that I've noticed, typical EA, that's obviously... It's probably not against the rules. You can have two guys on kickoff with the same number. I don't know. We saw that in the trailer. Uh, two guys that had on the same jersey number. I know that you can play. You can in college have two guys with the same number, but they can't be on the field at the same time. Now, I don't know if they changed that rule for special teams or not. But if they didn't, then yeah, that's probably something that needs to be fixed. It's a minor detail. Is it game breaking? No. So typical EA comment. Bruh, come on. Y'all reaching yeah, I don't get why we can't edit fake players. I need to know what are y'all talking about with editing them. Request a refund button on the menu because this <laughs> this game is trash. That's that's. Hey, everybody got their opinions, man. Everybody's got their opinions. So understand these things, guys. And really, I don't know, man. That to me. When we say it features, uh, some people obviously don't understand what features are. Um, but like I said, what do y'all think? Me personally, if I had to pick, I would say definitely mass substitutions. Uh, spring game would be a feature I would add. Uh, scouting and game planning also would be a feature that I would like to add. And I can go into more detail about that stuff later. And I know some of you might say maybe a little too early to talk about some of this stuff for a next year's title. But guys, they're probably already starting to work on next year's title. Now, they're going to have a team dedicated to like packs, patches and bug fixes. But when the game is released, they kind of they take a small break and then they get back rolling for next year's game. Like they they don't sit there and wait till June, you know, or, or January to start making the game. It doesn't work that way in game production, especially when you have a yearly title put out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below, guys. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.